Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. So from the Children's Music Academy, hey Tom, how's the weather? Weren't those kids cute? You know, and I, and I didn't know this. There's actually been studies that kids that are exposed to music at a really young age tend to do better in math later on in school. And you know what? I did, was not exposed to music very much early, and I had trouble with math. Uh, so still, though, they were really cute kids doing that Hey Tom. Now, I want to tell you about the Tioga Skywarn training program. This is tonight at 7 o'clock at Ambulance Hall on, uh, I guess it's Wheelow Street. Anyway, it's a free program put on by the National Weather Service to learn all about severe weather. And so if you've got some time, it's a great program. 46 degrees right now, winds out of the east-southeast at 16 miles an hour, and humidity 44%. Mine at 47 degrees at this point, one degree below the normal high. Williston's 55 degrees, and that puts it four degrees above the normal high in Williston. And Dickinson, 51, and uh, just a little bit, but still above the normal high temperature. Here are some of the other temps around the uh, area. 30s to the east, 40s kind of up and down Highway 83, and now we get into the 50s in the west. So, yes, there was some snow early this morning for a lot of folks waking up to it, but it certainly, certainly didn't uh, last long. It has picked up a little bit of a breeze now. It's uh, earlier today, it was more like 10 to 15. Now it's more like 15 to 20 to 22 miles an hour or so uh, as an average. So it is pretty breezy, and it is going to be breezy again uh, when you get up tomorrow morning. Now, I want to show you something. We've got some active weather coming. There is going to be some nice weather, but more active weather than nice. So here we are uh, tonight at 7 o'clock, the high pressure off to the uh, east, circulation around that. That's where it's been a little bit breezy, and uh, but still a lot of sunshine because we're pretty close to that high pressure. So that's tonight at 7 o'clock. And then as we get into uh, tomorrow morning, a warm front is going to be pushing into the state. And so behind the warm front, it's likely going to be rain. And then uh, ahead of the warm front, it might be a little bit of rain, mixed rain and snow. Nothing heavy, but still, uh, that disturbance looks to be from about I-94 to the north, it looks like. And then uh, as that moves through, the, the front pushes a little bit farther east. And so this area back here, behind the warm front, but ahead of the cold front, we call it the warm sector. Now, it's not like it's going to be 80 degrees. That's not what I'm saying. But we've got the warm air uh, over us. So tomorrow should be a fairly warm day. But you notice there's still a little bit of green there. There's that possibility of a little bit of, of, of a few spring. Now, I've taken a lot of things off the map just to make it easier to see. So here we are. Friday is going to be really nice. That's the day to maybe play hooky. Uh, have a couple of raindrops possible Friday evening, uh, at least early. But once we get into Friday night, into Saturday morning, now we're talking about the potential for rain in the northwestern part of the state, maybe a couple sprinkles down in the south central or southwest. Don't get hung up on exactly where this is placed. Uh, just It's northwest, north central, southwest, and south central, at least early in the day, because this is just a computer model. And then as we go throughout the day and Saturday afternoon, probably some really light rain, uh, slightly heavier, but not what, what we would call heavy rain, up in the far north, but still the potential for rain Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and then by midnight Saturday night, most everything should be off to the east. But then on Sunday, we could still get a couple of sprinkles as well. Now, the wind forecast tomorrow morning, you'll notice it. It's roughly 15 to 20 mile an hour. Uh, it'll be a southerly wind. And then throughout the day, uh, by 12 noon, we're going to be 15 to 25 miles an hour. And then by tomorrow afternoon, 15 to 20 to 25 miles an hour, maybe some stronger wind gusts. Now, the next 72 hours for Dickinson, 60s. Won't that be nice. And then for Williston, 60s as well. And uh, some pretty decent weather. Here's the forecast lows tonight. 20s and 30s, which isn't bad. Daytime highs tomorrow, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Here's a look at the next seven days, and it really does look pretty nice. Good chance of rain in the north. And you know what, Chad and Lauren, do you think our bosses will know if we all called in sick on Friday? No clue. They, they might catch on. Nope. We got to stagger the days. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Keep it here. Next in our 5 at 5.